thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Since I've been shooting so many Polaroids lately, I thought we would go ahead and run it back and do another emulsion lift video, and I could just catch up with you guys in the process. So grab yourself a cup of coffee. Myself, I'm having some Proud Mary coffee. This is all I've been drinking lately. Thanks to that tall drink of water, Sam Elkins, for the suggestion. In other news, I recently got COVID, as well as Molly and both of our kids. Needless to say, my videos planned for this month have all been changed accordingly. But you all seem to really enjoy that emulsion lift video recently, and as a matter of fact, while I was out there to shoot those Polaroids that day, this one must have fallen out of my pocket or out of the truck, because a few days later I went to make a picture there, apparently in the exact same spot, and as soon as I stepped out of the truck, I saw this Polaroid just sitting face down in the snow, so it sat out there for a few days in the rain and snow, but I brought it home and I figure we might as well cut into it. Now that road is also where I was making the pictures in the photographic therapy video, which I really wanted to kind of just treat this video almost like a little follow-up, uh, you know, continuation of the conversation. It's got a nice ring to it. First of all, if you have watched that video, I just want to say thank you, because um, I truly was not expecting the response that that video got. That was a really fun video to make, and it felt good to make. I was really happy with how it came out. Like, there were multiple things that I wished I could change, but it was just one of those things that I had to just, it had to be done, it had to go up. But I was really like genuinely nervous about sharing it and I you know I had Molly watch it a couple of times and share her thoughts and I had a couple close friends check it out and everybody was like this is great yeah we why are you sweating this but for whatever reason it was really hard for me to share that video um, not necessarily hard to share it but I was just I think I just really wanted to make sure that what I was trying to articulate was actually coming through because I know I am not the best talker a few years ago I said vehicle and I think 23 percent of my audience had a stroke but when I'm talking about stuff that really matters, you know, when I'm, I'm not just talking about cameras and lenses and that kind of stuff, when I'm talking about real life stuff, stuff that actually matters, it's real life. I want it to feel real. I don't want the whole, you know, YouTube facade thing. Like, I was not cut out for YouTube or made for YouTube. That is for sure. I didn't know what the hell I was doing when I started this thing. I mean, I just wanted someone to know how to load their film camera after they bought it off eBay because they didn't know anybody and didn't have anywhere to ask. And now it's like this whole thing. And when I share something like that last video that to read the comments and the messages that came in from that, it really, really hit me hard. And I was truly shocked at just like the amount of response on that video like in my head this video was one of those like this one's for me you know what I mean like I'm gonna do this video I'm gonna completely trust my gut I'm gonna make exactly what I want to make I'm gonna make it how I want to make it I'm gonna edit it and I'm just gonna do everything exactly how I want to make this video there's not even gonna be a single picture in this video but I'm going to make what I feel like making and sharing right now. There's no flashy title or topic to the video. I'm going to do this one for me and just get it out there and it'll feel good to just make it. And then somehow that video did much better than most of the videos typically do on my channel. And I am like the last person to go to when it comes to advice for running a YouTube channel because I just now think I'm starting to think I, I kind of know like what I want to do. I, essentially that video, that is like what I have always been wanting to make, but have just been sort of like afraid to make, I think. Sometimes when I have too much freedom, it's paralyzing. Since I left wedding photography and portraits and all of that stuff and just focusing on the YouTube channel and my personal work. So basically from November when I moved my office back home, you can tell that I've been having more fun making these YouTube videos and I've been putting a lot more into them. And I've always been so focused on figuring out what the direction of something is or what the final look of something is and focusing on that and making sure I have everything dialed in before I actually start moving that way I don't think, oh man, I wish I would have, you know, had it all consistent from the very start. Nothing is ever figured out from the start. There is always learning in the process, and that is where everything really happens. That's where the magic of all of this is. 
I can go back and look at some of the YouTube videos and I can see myself at different times. I mean, you guys have seen me going through the absolute worst times of my life. Whether you see it or not actually on camera, I go back and I watch some of the videos and I'm like, oh my God, I was going through it. But I feel like with my photography, with my YouTube channel, there have been plenty of times where I'm, I just think I was like, you know, treading water. Times where I think I was so focused on, you know, figuring out what was next rather than just working on what was next, whatever was naturally right there in front of me. And that's what I've been working on lately, just trying to be more patient with myself and adjusting to this sort of new career path, I guess. I don't have everything figured out, my photography career, the path that it's going on, or this YouTube channel. All I know is if 16-year-old Matt, who was driving around aimlessly with his camera, could see me right now doing the same stuff, being able to share it with so many people, pretty sure that's the dream right there. I appreciate all of you who joined me today as I sat here and just yapped a whole bunch and did this Polaroid emotion lift. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. That's it for now. I love you guys. I'll see you next time. Thank you again to Squarespace for sponsoring this video and supporting this channel. I actually signed up for Squarespace for my own website before they ever sponsored my YouTube channel because they truly are the best all-in-one platform to build a website. No matter what your needs are, there are tons of things you can do with your site on Squarespace such as showing off your portfolio, running an online store, sending out an email newsletter, or even just finding the domain itself, everything is here. As easy as everything is, if you ever need help with anything, they have 24-7 award-winning customer service that's always ready to help. If you want to try Squarespace out for yourself, you can do so entirely free, but when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash mattday. That'll get you 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain.